Hey, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard, and uh, this is episode 12, coming up next. Caitlyn Jenner, or Bruce, depends on who you ask. We have a great segment. This appeared on uh, Fox News I don't know, a week or two ago, something like that. It was pretty uh, hypocritical, pretty revelatory, pretty interesting, and all that rest. Of course, Caitlyn Jenner being the former Bruce Jenner athlete and um, pop sensation TV star with the Kardashians and all the rest has now been Caitlyn, transitioned from male to female and so on. And, um, well, let's just watch this interview and we'll see uh, and we'll talk about it. And so my whole life I struggled with this issue. Uh, I wasn't honest with myself, a lot of times not honest with other people. Um, And that all changed um, when I finally had my final conversation with God. Discussed with all my children, but the last thing I had to do was sit down with my pastor. Because if anybody has any issues in their life that they're struggling, and everybody does, everybody's got stuff they have to deal with. And if they have any faith in their soul whatsoever, they sit there and they go, God, why'd you do this? Why is this issue for me of identity in my head, 24 hours a day, every day, 365 days out of the year, you can't take two aspirin, get plenty of sleep, wake up the next morning and you're fine. It's just always there. It's who you are, but why? And so this question was always in my heart and sitting I I sat down with my pastor. Am I doing the right thing? Do I need to come out and make a difference in probably the most marginalized community in the world? After long thought, I said, you know what? At this point in my life, my kids are raised. Everybody's fine. Maybe it's time I take care of myself. Because when that day comes and you go up to the pearly gates, and you're walking up the stairs and you're seeing God in front of you and you just ask that question, did I do a good job? Did I do the right thing? And just hope he says, hey, come on in. I did a good job. I could be myself now. I couldn't do it before because I have too many secrets in my book, Secrets of My Life. I got all my secrets out. I have no secrets anymore. And I just wake up and be myself all day. Um, and, but I, I still feel like I'm doing the right thing. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, and, and I think when I get up there to that day, hopefully I'm in. All right. So first and foremost, uh, this is a very hurt individual. Um, overall, just lots of baggage, right? And we all have baggage. Everybody, everybody has baggage. Everybody is st- stuck, uh, or 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 has been stuck in junk, just junk, right? Just sin and garbage and muck and mire, uh, depending on how old you are and, and where you're from and what you look like and your background. We all have problems. Not there's not one person that doesn't have sin. There isn't one person that doesn't have problems. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, Jenner, I'm going to say Jenner, it's, I mean, it's, he's, he's, he's still Bruce Jenner. I mean, he's still a man, but uh, I understand that gender dysphoria and it's a very complicated, uh, issue, but it nevertheless, he's not a woman. Uh, so we'll say Jenner though, just out of respect, uh, for the individual. So Jenner is talking and look, I, I was this way. I had all these issues. I lied to myself. And well, first of all, we're saying lying lying is wrong. So everybody would pretty much agree that lying is wrong. That depending on what is the truth, right? That's what we need to understand. And of course, we see the scripture says, your word is truth. Uh, know the truth and the truth will set you free in other places talking about truth. Uh, but we have to know, the only way to know what a lie is, is to know what the truth is, right? You can't know what a lie is. I can't tell you two plus two is four billion and... Well, if you don't have the actual facts, that might be true, or it might be false, or it might be racist. And so we have then Jenner saying, look, I wasn't true to myself, and my kids are grown, this is this, and this is this, and now things are, things are better, and I can come out, and I can really live my true self. 
And that's that's understandable uh, from a world perspective. I get it from a worldly perspective. Of course, the world hates Jenner because he's a Republican. She's a Republican. Caitlyn Jenner's a Republican. And, uh, you know, it's really the party. It's not even so much the ideology because there's all sorts of, you know, darker skinned, more melanin folks in that community who are conservative. Right. And, 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 you know, they're not black because I'm not white. This is like light brown, right? Orangish, tannish. Um, <clears throat> and so it, it's there. They don't like the politics. They don't like the worldview. Right. I mean, you can look at Joe Biden, who is literally the worst possible everything. He's old. He's straight. He's light skinned. Right. He's from Western Europe somewhere. And he's senile. Like, no one should like him. And yet he's a champion of the left because he's, quote unquote, got the right politics and he's on the right side of history. So it doesn't really matter what you actually look like. The, the, any sort of um, intersectionality person where you're this gender and this ethnic group and this sexual minority, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. And we can see this with all sorts of people. My, Milo Yiannopoulos as another one who's a very flamboyant uh, gay activist and now is more conservative. Uh, Dave Rubin, who used to be on the left, now he's on the right, but he's still um, uh, same-sex attracted, homosexual, and, and, and on and on and on that there's, but they have the wrong politics, so now they're our enemy. Anyway, so back to this. Caitlyn Jenner is not a, ultimately a champion that people see, uh, see him as because, well, quite frankly, he's got a little R next to his name. And so, <clears throat> nevertheless, this is a very sad story, right? And it's and, and, I, and my heart, <laughs> it breaks. I'm not trying to be uh, condescending or, or any such thing, but my heart does break for this person uh, because though Jenner is made in God's image, the image is marred, as it is for everyone. It's marred for everyone. And... Jenner is saying, I, I need to live my true self. And once I did that, I, I came out, I have no more secrets, right? Well, nowhere in the scripture or even in reality does it say anything about being authentic and being your true self. And if you are your true self, then you're in the right track. You're, you're doing the right thing. It's just not where. Where does it say that? And even in reality, where does it say that? I mean, you could do that in your marriage or in your family structure or just in your friendships and just tell it like it is. I mean, we don't really, there are people that, you know, a little more up front, a little more forward. I'm a little more forward. I'm doing this right now. You're watching this, hopefully. Well, if you're not watching it, you don't know what you're, I'm saying, right? I'm a little more forward. And that doesn't mean I say everything that's on my mind and I divulge all my deepest, darkest secrets. No one wants to know that, right? And so for us to do that is just, Kind of ridiculous. The scripture doesn't say anything about that. But what's striking, secondly, uh, is for the still belief in God, right? Jenner still has a strong belief in God. Hey, you know, once he gets there, interesting, God's male, right? Uh, once Jenner gets there, he will say to Jenner, you know, you were your real self. It's okay. Go ahead. You, come on in the pearly gates and all that. Just very Hollywood-ish. And this is what happens when you have very bad theology, right? Now, there's something in Revelation that talks about the gates being made of pearl and, and you know, Peter was given the keys to the kingdom and therefore he's sitting at an actual gate in the clouds. That's not at all what's going to actually happen. Like, that's not what the scripture says at all. There's twistings and Hollywood movies that say that and bad Christian movies that do that, but that's not actually what's happening. I know because I've died and gone to heaven to come back. More on that later. No, just kidding. I've not done that. <laughs> That's all over the internet. You can find somebody else's video for that. So my question though is, do you see the difference uh, here in the sense that Jenner is saying, look, I was my true self. I hope I get into heaven. Well, first of all, that's not very good. <laughs> that's that's. That's sad. That's scary. That's that's not a good thing at all. Uh, but that's what all the religions of the world. Well, I just hope my you know my good deeds out, outweigh my bad deeds. But is that what the Bible says? No, not a, not even close to what the Bible says. Now, there's a lot of Christians or so-called Christians that think that's what the Bible says or think that's what it means. But that's not at all what it says. 
Romans 12, 2, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That testing, by testing, you may discern what the will of God is and what is good, acceptable, and perfect. 1 John 2, 15 through 17, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life is not from the Father, but from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires or lusts. But whoever does the will of God abides forever. Now, it's God's will for you to come to Christ if you're not in Christ. And then his will is for you, and this is clear from the scripture, both of these, his, your sanctification. His will for you is your sanctification. So God's will is not a mystery. It's not some confused kind of thing that you need to go to a seminar and read all these books and listen. No. God's will is your sanctification if you're a Christian. And if you're not a Christian, bow the knee to Christ, surrender. And that's the whole point that Jenner is completely missing is the surrender part. Jenner's a sinner. I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. Everyone's a sinner. Everyone has fallen short of God's glory. Everyone has missed the mark. It's just like an analogy with basically like a bow and arrow or a crossbow or firing range. You're supposed to hit the target. The whole point is to hit the target, right? But we all miss the target. Sometimes we miss wildly sometimes we hit go 180 degree direction but we missed the mark that's not god's doing god didn't oh why did you do this jenner says why did you do this why did you give this that's 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 awful i'm so sorry that that is the case that this plagues jenner's mind so much but god didn't do this the world is fallen we go all the way back to the very first pages of genesis and it says adam and eve disobeyed Adam and Eve disobeyed. God said, don't eat of this single tree in this massive garden. Not just like a little, you know, garden in your yard, but like, you know, Yosemite and beyond. Like a massive, massive place with everything wonderful and good and perfect. God dwelling with his people there and they disobeyed. That's the first Adam. We see the second Adam in Romans chapter 5, for example, coming and redeeming, being that perfect substitute and that perfect high priest, better than Moses, better than, better than angels, and all these other things. That's who Jesus is. That's why Jesus came into the world. If it's all about our own works, then why did Jesus have to come into the world? Why did he have to live a perfect life? I mean, have you ever lived to try, try and live just a perfect hour? Try not to stumble and fall and obey everything that you think, even for yourself, even if you're not a Christian which you can't do, not even for an hour, let alone a day, let alone 30 plus years. But Jesus did that. And he was perfect in doing that. Flawless. He obeyed his parents. He did everything right. And yet, why did he have to do that if it's, you know, it's just about your work? You know, by golly, that's all right, Jenner. You can come on in. Just come on in. Peter, yeah, bring him through. That's fine. Let, let Jenner in. That's fine. No, <laughs> that's not that's not what the scripture says. And, you know, I doubt uh, General will watch this, but he, it's talking about a pa- he's talking about the pastor. And he's, the pa- like, it doesn't even say the pastor, what the pastor said. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, by grace you save through faith, and that not of your own doing, as a gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one will boast. Not that the faith, the faith is just looking. You're just looking to Christ. That's it. You're divulging anything that you're bringing, which includes being your authentic self, which includes not having any secrets, which includes not lying. That it, it's, it's sending people to eternal glory into heaven is based strictly on Jesus and faith in Jesus alone who paid the penalty for that sin. <clears throat> That's it. Because... Here, this is, think for a moment. If it's not by faith and it's by works in some way, then how many works do you need to do to get into heaven? And if it is by works and you have to count how many works, what exactly is a good work? Is this right now what I'm doing a good work? Are you watching it a good work? Or are you supposed to be working? Right? Or is it free time? Right? Should you get eight hours of sleep or seven hours of sleep and use that one hour of sleep, you know, feeding the homeless? Or, or, or helping sexual abuse survivors, right? Or, or making a meal for someone. Or helping an old lady cross the street. How many works do you do? You've got 24 hours in a day, and I mean, you've got to do at least one good deed, right? Each day, a lot of people think that. Well, that's only 365 deeds each year. That's not very many. Well, how many is required for salvation? 
Crickets? Yes, crickets, because it's not in the text. Now that is other religions, I understand that, but that's not what the scripture says at all. That's not what reality actually is. Reality is that God has made a way for sinners to come into glory and only through his own work, his own sacrifice, and nothing else. There's nothing else. What else could you do? Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, John 3, 36 says. Whoever does not obey the Son, that's believe the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. And lastly, 2 Timothy 1, 9, who saved us, talking about God, and called us to a holy calling, right? You're not just saved and, oh, I got baptized, we're good. You know, now I just live my life however the heck I want. It just doesn't really matter. No, no but a holy calling, walking in good works, good deeds that God has prepared for us. Not because of our works. Notice he says, he saved us and called us to a holy calling, but not because of our works, because of his purpose and grace, which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the age began. So Christ is there. He is the predetermined, pre Uh, salvation, pre-time God who was sent into the world, specifically dwelt among us. That is why we celebrate Christmas. Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He was born, he lived, he died, he resurrected. That is the gospel. Good works is not the gospel. Getting into heaven, Jenner can have salvation and assurance of that salvation. And just like anyone else can, By trusting simply in Christ's work. It's his good deeds, his praying, his sacrifice. Because he did everything right. He kept the law. He did all the things that you and I and Jenner have not done and will not do. Because even if we were able to start today and be flawless, which is impossible, right? Totally perfect. What about all the sin last week, two weeks ago? Jesus says if you looked with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. If you've been angry, you've murdered. So everybody's an angry murderer, every single one, me included, every single person. Don't think you're not, you are. (laughs) And you're probably watching this video and if you're not a believer, you're probably angry, which is sin. It's a problem for Jenner to think this. It's a problem that Jenner thinks getting into heaven is just, well, you know, you did the best you could. You were authentic to yourself. Being authentic isn't salvation. Not lying isn't salvation. That's not redemption. And it's a scary, scary way to live. I could keep going, but I'll leave the comments uh, or I'll leave the little link below uh, of the video. And uh, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help with the thing that starts with A and rhymes with rhythm. And um, yeah. I like to hear your thoughts. Until next time, be against the world for the sake of the world. Take care. Hey, welcome to Contra Talk. I'm thoughts. Yeah. Contra Talk's the talk show. This is thoughts show. This is the thought show. Take two. All right.